we if we get reflighted now, it's a long old way, isn't it? Oh, what do we do then, man? The squad Jackson. If we get reflighted now, mm. if we got reflighted um, to the stage we're at, so we'd go back to day twenty one. Um, yeah, we'd stay with Jackson until for six weeks, pretty much until Arnold got to day twenty one. If we got zero zeros, then you just wait until Arnold's done for the show. I quit. Is, would, would you? Would you VW? I thought what? Would you VW if you were? If I got VW, I'd have now. It's a serious thing. Would you? Uh, it? it has been hard. Uh, it's that weight. That's the thing that bothers me. It's that weight. You know, these. It's it's not easy staying up every night till yeah. twelve o'clock at night. Get you know everything and that, and then that, having to do it all again. Yeah, it just seems like... Knowing that you've already done it. <laughs> sort of a never-ending cycle, isn't it? Time just flies. You look at your watch and you go, all right, great, I've got four... It depends how much you want it, though. If you really want to be in, then you'll do it again, then. Yeah. I think you never know how you react until it happens. I'd probably stay in. Probably, I'm just saying that, that now, because I'm tired now. It would just be too hard to... Do. The thing for me, it took me so long to get in, it would be yeah. too hard to turn around to my mum or my dad and go... How long did it take you? Um, a while. Um, to get into the Air Force, a full start, I made my first application when I was 16. Um, I was going to Welbeck Defence Sixth Form College. God knows why I made that application. Someone said it would be a good idea. I was like, oh, okay. Well, um, what's that again? It's, um, um, it's, no, it's a, it's a sixth form designed for, it's tri-service for engineers, dental, I think they might stab something else in it, like logistics, I don't know. How could it get in? Because I didn't know what I was doing. I turned up to Cram up to the OSC and I was just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> That's not officers, isn't it? So, and then I applied last year for aerospace battle management, summer of 2010. Um, and I was two weeks away from OSC and they closed the branch. Why? Because of the spending review and stuff. Um, and then I applied for this November last year ish. And no, it's been a year and a bit. And then I had a ridiculous amount of stupid hurdles that I jumped through. I only I applied in August. Last year. This year. You applied in August this year? No, no. not kidding. Oh wait, wait, wait. No yet. It was you, no, walked, no, no, you was, walked into the careers office for the first time in August this year and you uh, started it was in end, end of July. End of July. That is ridiculous. Because I worked in a, like a, a warehouse kind of place. It was like it was all kitchens and stuff. And my boss like treated me really unfairly, so I just like completely changed <coughs> the office, didn't go back. And um I I just thought, you know what, what am I gonna do? I'm, kind of screwed for a job now. So I just went on the, the RAF careers website and then I phoned up the number and then took it from there and then... Really? Yeah, it was simple. What are you going in as? I'm going as a supplier, but initially I uh, applied as a flight operations assistant. So basically the junior role of what I'm going in as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so it's quite a lot of waiting lists as well, so yeah. I just got my foot in the door. Yeah. I don't want to be doing nothing for a while, so I just thought I'd get me in. Fair enough. It's a pretty good system. You went in in July and you started until the end of November. I can't complain. It's gone really quickly for me, obviously.